the Turkish capital of Istanbul is one of the great cities of the ancient world and a bustling modern metropolis that sits between Europe and Asia. Not only has it played a pivotal role in the region for millennia, it is also deeply connected with the history of archery. Buried in the busy urban streets on the European side of the city is Okçula Vakfi, a site that was gifted to archers in the 15th century by Sultan Mehmet Khan after the Ottoman conquest of Constantinople. Six centuries later, the archery centre is still dedicated to the sport. This is a non-profit organisation which is founded in 1453. So it is the first sports club in the world's history. The centre houses classrooms, a lecture theatre and a museum, six indoor ranges, offices and its main 120 metre outdoor archery range where traditional and modern archery train side by side. For training flight archery, so uh, you are using really heavy poundage bows and in the close distance you are training your technique, but more or less some place that you can shoot 45 degrees. And 500 years ago, this thing? Yes, 500 years ago that was the same also. Across the site, there are many artefacts from archery's past, but it's not just bows and arrows. Throughout the centre, these pillars that once stood around the city as trophies commemorate Istanbul's greatest archers and their long distance records. They are standing on a footstone, probably this one is the footstone, and they are shooting, and then when they shoot, and they go together with their arrow maker and bow maker and the witnesses and the arrow maker pulls the arrow from the ground and they measure it. If it is a record, they put that post. When Okçula Vakfi was founded in the 15th century, it was meant as a place for Ottoman archers to hone their skills, both in technique and in the fabrication of equipment. In the workshops at the modern centre, these traditions are kept alive as archers use delicate processes to build beautiful bows and arrows. The same care is taken at Okshala Vakfi's dedicated research facility. Tasked with widening archery knowledge, the staff collect, collate, write and translate texts, ancient and modern, to share among the archery community in Turkey and worldwide. My name is Toskopan Iskender. Toskopan Iskender is the most uh, famous archer uh, in Ottoman history. He, his records of 847 meters he shot and he is really uh, famous about it. And they are making out of a children's book and they try to uh, they try to give this knowledge, give this uh, heritage to the new generation. But as much as this center has an appreciation for the past, the most encouraging thing is its equal enthusiasm for the future. The archery lab. This is the more uh, most advanced technological place in this facility. Uh, the aim is to de develop archers and the equipment further. This is very modern, uh, but also we are trying to reach the knowledge of our ancestors and we are trying to find out uh, what makes them the best archers of their time. And also we would like to put on top of it and uh, make it develop further. This is what's so special about Okçula Vakfi. It is maybe the oldest archery club in the world and it's entirely dedicated to uncovering the secrets of archery, old or new.